Hi everybody, this is Deirdre, your librarian, and I'm going to be showing you a couple quick ways to get into the library databases and about the STAR courses that you're going to be working on. So first of all, start with the university homepage um, and go to the library. So from the university homepage, you can get to the library quite quickly by clicking on the library. Then scroll down the page and go to Research Help. From here, you're going to want to go to Reading. So go down the page and you will see Reading. And from there, you can get to the Research Guide for Reading. In order to find articles for your research project, you're going to want to go to the Finding Articles link and then choose Education Source. This is going to be the best database for you to start with. If you're doing a project with, let's say, Literacy and Read Alouds, what you're going to want to do is put in your key terms. So Literacy and Read Alouds. And then for this project, you're going to be looking for scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Those are those journals that are research-based um, that have been published in academic journals. So you can click the scholarly peer-reviewed journal option there on the page as well. Then just click search and you're going to get a bunch of results. In this case, you get 342 results. These can be accessed either directly, if you see a little link that says PDF Full Text, you can click on that and you can get straight to the article. Or if you see something that says, let's hold on just a sec, okay, that says find it, that means that the full text does not reside in this database, but we may subscribe to it. So click on find it and you will get to a page that will have a link for view full text. Click on that full text link and this will take you to the article. You're going to find that that find it button comes up quite often with uh, journals that are really recent publications. Sometimes this may take a little bit of time uh, because the computers are all talking to each other. I should mention right now that if you are off campus when you click on the database the first time, there's going to be a white screen that's going to ask you to log in. That's the same information you use to get on computers at the university, and it's the same information you use to log into Jaguar. After that, you should be able to access everything just the way that I'm showing you here. So here's your article. Now let's go back to what might happen with that Find It button. You also might find that you do not see a full text here. In that case, we don't have access to the full text, but you can have it sent to you for free by requesting it through ILL, which stands for Interlibrary Loan. So if you don't see the full text, just go ahead and click there. There's that login screen. You're going to log in. And you're going to get to an uh, interlibrary loan page that will allow you to request that article. Everything will be pre-populated. All you're going to need to do is say the last date that, that this article will still be useful for you. So if my paper was due on February 14th, maybe I'd click January 31st. Submit the request and in just a couple days you will get that article, um, a link to that article in your email. Okay, so let's go back to our search. So those are the two ways that you'll find articles in here. If you want to just find out more about the article before reading it, if you click on the title, you will get to a page that has the abstract. It'll still have a link to your Find It button or your PDF as well. Remember that the abstracts are the really, really short summary of the article. The other thing that you're going to find on this page is a cite option. Now this is both good and bad. and You'll find it over on your right hand side. It's good in the sense of it gives you a pre-populated reference in APA style. The bad thing is, is that many of these times the reference itself is not exactly perfect. And don't forget the APA really focuses on making those citations perfect. So you can see here the thing that jumps out at me is that the um, title of the article should be in a sentence style 
um, type of writing and it is in headline style so you would have to fix that up but it is much easier to cut and paste this into your reference list and then fix it up rather than typing it all in by hand you just have to really remember to fix that up so the search itself um, can be modified at any point in time whenever you have your boxes up at top up at the top and you can also modify it along the less the left by looking at things like the publication date if you want to say let's look at only stuff in the last 10 years you can modify it there as well and then you just have to re-hit the search option and you will get uh, just the most recent articles okay All right so let's go on then so that's the basics of searching and I'm going to show you a place if this is all seeming like something you haven't done for quite a long time and you want a little refresher I'll show you a place in just a few minutes where you can get a refresher on that also if you have any questions at all about searching you are always welcome to contact me from that reading research guide you um, will have my contact information my phone number and also the ability to schedule an appointment with me uh, emailing me is usually the best especially because I know you also are all busy all the time so if you just click on the email you'll be able to get in touch with me um, and I have a really quick turnaround time on that that's the basics a very quick basics of the research let me show you the other thing that you're going to be working on that has to do with library resources and that is um, courses within what's called star so what you're going to do to get to star is you're going to go back to the university homepage and go to blackboard okay, so you can get into blackboard from bottom there oh okay let's see if we can get into blackboard hopefully blackboard will be working for you okay there we go and blackboard okay so once in blackboard go to courses go to star student technology and academic resources and then the part that you want to get into is called get smart at your library so look along the left hand side and you'll see get smart at your library and there are two courses that you want to look at in this one is course 201 the basics of APA style and the other is course 301 avoiding plagiarism the basics of APA style covers all obviously the basics of APA style and to do these courses you just click in click through and in the end you will have a little quiz to take you do need to get a hundred percent in order to get a certificate for that but you can take the quiz as many times as you want to now I mentioned earlier that if you if all of the searching was a little bit unfamiliar to you we do have a course that will help you catch up on that that is um, in this course 300 research in your major Jaguar tracks 3 and if you click on that you will see that there's uh, research in your major education and kinesiology this goes through and talks to you about how to find scholarly resources how to um, access materials and citation styles and so forth so if all of this is all of everything I've been talking about is sounding really unfamiliar you can go in and do this refresher course at any point in time um, there is no quiz on this there is a little certificate if you read through the whole thing so that pretty much summarizes what I was going to talk to you guys about today again if you have any questions please do um, come and contact me schedule an appointment give me a call or send me an email and uh, good luck on your research bye bye